Welcome back everybody. Today we'll be discussing the August week 2 Yeezy restocks, those of which we went over in a video last week. Week 3 Yeezys are now currently ongoing. Specifically, we'll be discussing whether you should sell or hold these Yeezys that you got from the recent drops and restocks. preface if you guys enjoy these types of videos or go to the market reselling and even info on how to acquire these limited products be sure you subscribe and enable post notifications this way you're always 100% updated furthermore for more urgent updates like shock drops follow my twitter keithadam10 this way you're always in the loop 24 7 and for early information before the shock drops actually occur as well as release guides and much more even far beyond just sneaker reselling endurance always has your back you can join for a limited time with the link in the description below for those who don't know, Yeezys have been restocking again. These are leftover pairs from prior Adidas releases along with newly released pairs that were supposed to release before but were postponed due to the split up. Considering there are so many pairs, we're not going to be doing a full detailed analysis on every single one. Rather, I'm just going to explain my general thoughts as well as a brief seller hold rating for each of the pairs, just like what we did for the last restock. First, the most important and obvious thing to note is that this is most likely the last of the stock that we're going to be seeing for these models, and even if some of the stock on these colorways is reserved for another restock in the future, it's not going to be a significant amount. This is obviously a very important factor considering the dead stock supply in the market will only continue decreasing as more people wear their pairs that is unless Kanye and Adidas do reunite this is a luxury that we don't have when it comes to most sneakers considering even Jordan retros could simply be re-retroed in a couple of years whereas Yeezys this might be it for good not to mention there being random restocks in the short term like what we saw on the Jordan 3 white cement on top of this just like what we saw on Yeezy day and the prior large restocks with a large influx of pairs all going in its circulation at the same time, you could certainly expect a lot of panic selling to occur within the first 20 days. At this point, these pairs are going to be at their lowest point. Hence, it would be reasonable to expect, just like following Yeezy Day, the majority of these highly demanded pairs should increase over time in both the near term and especially long term following the first three weeks. However, this does not apply to all of them as some may simply have insufficient demand. Hence, I'm going to give some brief ratings out of 10 for each of the pairs as we decide which ones are going to be the best ones to hold. We'll go in no particular order of week two Yeezys. Kicking it off, we have the Yeezy Slide Glow. These are currently selling for around $110 on average and might drop a bit more but not too much more as shipments do continue to go out. Slides do tend to be pretty solid holds in general considering they tend to start off quite low in value making a decent ROI pretty attainable in just a year's time. Looking at their history, prior to these restocks, most sizes were selling in the mid 130s. I could certainly see these increasing to that point within a year or less which would allow for a 20% ROI more optimistically if they do get into the mid 140s like we saw larger sizes before these restocks that would allow for a 30% ROI. Remember we actually have seen multiple restocks of these in the past but going forward we likely won't see any more so I'd lean more towards the optimistic outcome hypothetically if they were to continue increasing after a year to say 180 that would allow for a 60% ROI which I think is quite possible after a few years time especially on large sizes with that said, I'd rate these quite high at 7 out of 10, slightly below some of the other slide colorways, but still above average. Next up, we have the Easy Slide Slate Marine. Yes, this actually is a different colorway than the several other gray and black pairs. Similarly, these slides should also be a solid hold. In fact, they may be a better hold than the glows, and that's not exactly because of the color itself, but mainly because the starting value is much lower, which will simply allow for a better ROI, as you can see. With that said, Said, I'd actually rate these higher at 7.5 out of 10, both still solid holds long term though. Next, we have the Yeezy 350 Slate. In general, most 350s aren't anything special, but they're not too bad either. In the past, I would have said stripe colorways are a bit of a standout, but not on these, and that's because Kanye publicly explained that the recent Yeezy colorways are not actually his. This is something that I believe could affect these long term in a negative way. Nonetheless, Yeezy 350s do tend to appreciate in general, especially when they start out relatively low in value like these are. I just wouldn't expect anything above average for these 
despite it being a striped colorway, I can see them increasing back to an average of $280 in about a year, which would barely allow for a 20% ROI, so not a terrible hold, but I'd still say slightly below average at 4 to 4.5 out of 10. Next up, we have the Easy Foam Runner Stone Salt. Yes, these are actually different from the pair that dropped today, despite how similar they look. It is pretty unusual for foam runners with these basic patterns to be going for this low in value. Obviously, a lot of that has to do with the macro environment and the fact that all stock for these is going into circulation right now. Nonetheless, I don't see any reason why these shouldn't eventually increase towards the prices of those other similar colorways within a year. Again, keep in mind that all the pairs are just going into circulation right now, causing a lot of panic selling. Even if they only increase to 150, that would be a 25% ROI, which I think is very possible within a year. If they eventually increase to 180, that's a 50% ROI already, which is really solid. Overall, I'd rate these well above average at 7.5 out of 10. Next, we have the Easy Knit Runner Fade Onyx. Despite them being under retail, the overall value still isn't too low on these, so it doesn't leave a ton of room for a good ROI in the future like foam runners and slides do, and other colorways of these haven't really shown much appreciation from their history. Overall, I'd rate these below average at 3.5 out of 10, but not quite as bad as compact Yeezys, still below average though. Next, we have the Yeezy 350 Red Stripe. This is a classic Yeezy 350 colorway. This was the most hyped colorway from the three original Black Friday pairs. Prior to their first restock, they used to sell for $800 to $1,000 after appreciating from $500 to $600 in 2016. Then, a ton more stock was added into circulation following Yeezy Day 2. Even following that Yeezy Day 2, seems they appreciated a small amount. I could see that same thing occurring within a year for this restock, so that's nothing too great for that time period considering these are quite high in value already. It seems that some sizes are already dropping to 270 though, and more should get there as shipments continue to go out. So from here, if they do increase like they did before, that's a 25% ROI, which definitely is not bad. I think most of the value on these is long term though. Multiple years from now, I could see these continuing to appreciate given their history if they ever hit 400 hypothetically that's a 50 percent roi which would be really solid overall i'd rate these above average at 6 out of 10. next up we have the easy 500 utility boot Will these end up like 950 prices or more like desert boots? I'm not really sure to be honest guys regardless if they continue dropping in price to retail and then eventually increase to those desert prices, you know, that's not even bad. It's way better than compact Yeezys to say the least. Those desert boots actually appreciated quite well despite low demand since they had proportionally low stock. I think we could see something similar when it comes to these. With that said, I'd actually rate these as an average hold at 5 out of 10. I know it sounds crazy, but I don't want to call these a bad hold long term. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Soon, we'll do week three easies. Remember, you can now join Endurance with the link in the description below for a limited time if you're looking to prepare for these restocks or even broaden your horizons as a reseller to markets outside of just sneakers. Subscribe to stay 100% updated on all Yeezy releases and other hype sneakers. With that said though, have a fantastic rest of your day and of course, good luck on the upcoming drops. You can now let with your own fellow. What did that bring you back to me?